Moving in to our last segment for the NFL talk for this week of the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, Max. We got our extra juicy dogs. Hope, oh, hope, yeah, hope. juicy. Hope, hope, hope. hope, hope. Whoa. <laughs> some tongue action on that one. Sorry, I definitely <laughs> grabbed someone by the ankle on that. I, I, was, I was gnawing at an ankle. I, I, <laughs> some tongue grab, action. Grab, just, just, I just bit wow. uh, Aaron Rodgers' Achilles. <laughs> wow, wow. Upper season, upper season. See it, Rodgers. But uh, extra juicy dog segment for people that forgot. This is where we give you a quarterback, a running back, a wide receiver, a tight end. That is a smash play this week in fantasy. Got it. Got a nice matchup. Maybe he's a guy lower in the rankings, a sleeper. You can feel comfortable putting him in your flex, in your wide receiver three, running back two spot. Max, why don't you lead us into your week seven extra juicy dog at the quarterback position? Mm, I will. I will. You know, I, I, I don't listen to a lot of uh, fantasy sports podcasts as much as I used to, because I like what we have to say. Okay. I understand we're, you know, that's being biased, I, but I think we, we have a lot to offer. All right. We, we, yes, we do. But when I do look at fantasy uh, football podcasts, I noticed that they keep talking about Tua in a way that y- you're hesitant to start. Him. You are hesitant to start Tua Tagovailoa. Loa. And I'll tell you right now, in our league, he's ranked third. All right, he's ranked third amongst quarterbacks. He has Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and that and Raheem Mostert in the backfield who catches who catches the ball. He had a once again a receiving touchdown. Okay, this offense is outstanding. If you have Tua and he's on your bench, you better have that number one or number two quarterback ahead of them, which would be Patty Mahomes or Josh Allen, because Tua is one of the best in the game right now, specifically because he has those weapons. I got Tua. You better be in your lineup against the Eagles. The Eagles are 25th, ranked 25th against uh, against quarterbacks. He's going to have a big game. Expect three touchdowns and 300 yards. I think it's going to be a huge game. I can't wait for the game, by the way. I mean, how many more how many times I got to say it, Cooper? I got the roast beef in the oven already. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wanted – I would have taken Tua probably if it if you wouldn't have slid in there. He's leading the league in passing yards and is tied for the league with 14 passing touchdowns, having a heck of a season. <clears throat> but my extra juicy quarterback for week seven. I had a tough one. I had a tough one here. It kept me kept me up late last night. Not really. But I went with Seattle Seahawk Geno Smith. Oh. Okay. He's uh Okay. Quarterback 23 this season. Disappointing. Definitely. Disappointing. If you would have Definitely told me that going into last year, sure, I would have believed you, but had a heck of a year last year. The NFL mm-hmm. comeback player of the year. I don't know what he came back from, but he won that award. QB 23 on the season thus far. He's got five passing touchdowns in five games. That's that's not going to get it done. No. But, Max, this week, the, if there was a get-right game, it's this week. They're an eight-point home favorite against the one-win Cardinals. Arizona is 29th against quarterbacks. Yeah. You know, we don't do touchdown guarantees for quarterbacks. He hasn't passed for three touchdowns this year. I'm calling a three touchdown day right now. Oh, a triple, I like it. triple tutty guarantee for Geno Smith. I think he's only had two touchdowns once in a game. Shout out my guy, Peter living in Seattle. He's going to enjoy a nice Seahawk win this week. Geno Smith, put him in your lineup. I like it, man. Let's get DK Metcalf going. Can we please? Can we get can we get Tyler Lockett going too? Jay, she got weapons. Let's go. Who is your extra juicy dog at the running back position? Staying with Seattle, by the way. Okay. At the running back sorry, running back <laughs> position. I, I I made a pop noise. I went running, running. Okay. That running works. back position. Kenneth. Walker the third, everybody. Oh my goodness. He's ranked eighth right now in our fantasy league. I'm telling you, he's going to keep on going up. This guy has four straight games with the touchdown, four straight games. And I am guaranteeing and my buddy, Mr. Tutty, he's oh, getting five boys. straight games against Arizona. Whoa. Arizona. Arizona defense ranks 30th, 30th against running backs. Kenneth Walker the third is going to have a huge game. And cut. Can, can we get 100 yards? Can we get 100 yards rushing? He has not had one 100-yard rushing game yet, which oh, is surprising wow. to me. It's those touchdowns that are keeping him in the mix and also his receiving. Kenneth Walker III is going to have a big game, everybody. He better be in your lineups. 
Six rushing touchdowns for Kenneth Walker. Good for tied for third in the league. Pretty, pretty good pick by you. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of Kenneth Walker. My extra juicy dog at the running back, running back position. A guy we weren't too sure about coming into seasons this year. Didn't really care about draft him and drafting him in fantasy leagues. But I got Kansas City Chief Isaiah Pacheco. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's RB13 this season, Max. Listen to these stats. He's 11th at the position in carries, 11th in rushing yards, tied for ninth in rushing touchdowns, 11th at the position in receptions, and 10th in receiving yards. Damn. 11th, 11th, 9th, 11th, 10th. That is damn consistent across the board. He's contributing both rushing and receiving. He's at home in that juicy game against the Chargers, five and a half point favorites. 47 and a half point over under is the second highest on the week. Chargers are 21st against running backs. He's getting consistent volume on one of the best offenses. Yeah. Because of that, Max, he's getting a, he's getting a touchdown this week. Oh. My buddy, Mr. Tuddy, I'm on a little like hot it. streak. I'm on a little hot streak. I'm going to keep it rolling. Isaiah Pacheco finds the end zone against the Chargers this week. Great call on that. What a great season he's having. Oh, my goodness. Who is your extra juicy dog at the wide receiver position? Moving on to the wide receiver position. I am staying in Seattle. Okay. I'm telling you, I already brought him up. Okay. This guy has to get going. All right. And Geno Smith, you got to give him the ball. Damn it. Give him the damn ball. DK Metcalf, okay? If you have DK Metcalf, you are more than likely starting every single week, and you have been nothing but disappointed. But this is the week where he's going to get back on track. Arizona breaks 26th against wide receivers. Metcalf, just get open and throw the ball up just, just over his head because DK will go up and get it, okay? DK Metcalf's going to have a big game. Let's go Seattle Seahawks. What do you got, Cole Breezy, for your wide receiver? Just real quick, I on DK Metcalf in full PPR leagues, I didn't realize he was wide receiver 36. Yeah. Had the had the buy. Had the buy, but uh wow. And he uh you better watch the injury report, Max. He didn't take part in practice today, Wednesday. He's got ribs and a hip issue. So I better... saw I, I'm seeing a lot of players that in practice uh, this Wednesday. I'm seeing it a lot on our fantasy. I, I think it's just like a rest, a rest situation. But the uh, good call on that, everybody. Keep your if, eyes that, on if, that, if, if that's a, a serious issue, I, I, I'm doubting it, but keep an eye on it. Yeah. Keep your eyes on it. My extra juicy dog at the wide re- receiver position for week seven. Going with a guy on my team. I've been starting him. I'm comfortable with him. San Francisco 49er, Brandon Ayuk. Okay, they uh they lost their first game last week to the Browns. The Browns have a great defense. We talked about that already. Ayuk is wide receiver 18 on a full PPR basis this year. He's top five in the league with 18.2 yards per catch. He's he's a big play. He's a big play threat. Yeah. Is Debo, Debo going to play this week? I don't know. Is Christian McCaffrey going to play this week? I don't know. Ayuk has had at least six targets in every game. That's a solid floor. He, he's not going to goose you. That's a solid floor getting six targets every game. They are seven-point favorites over the Minnesota Vikings with a 44-point over-under. Minnesota is 28th against wide receivers. Mm-hmm. If Debo and or Christian McCaffrey are out, you can see 10, 12, 14 targets for Ayuk and almost a touchdown. Not going to guarantee it. Not going to get greedy. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Minnesota 28th against wide receivers. Fire up Brandon Ayuk this week. Who is your extra juicy dog at the tight end position? Moving on to the tight end, I got Mark Andrews, big time name, big time name, taking on Detroit. Detroit is ranked 27th against tight ends. You know, it's been a little bit since Mark Andrews had a touchdown. All right. It's been uh, this, this would be three straight weeks. Well, t- two weeks in a row. This would be the third week. He's getting a touchdown. Okay, I'm calling on my buddy, Mr. Tutty, right now with Mark Andrews. He's ranked third in our league, Whoa. and I am guaranteeing that he's getting in the end zone. It's been too long. It's been too wow. long, and Lamar Jackson knows it too. Okay, and uh, Mike Andrews is like, hey, what the, what's the beef, man? What's the beef? Yeah. Give me some beef while Give you're at it with, ma- with mashed potatoes and green beans. I can't wait for uh, Sunday. Easy, easy, easy. Come on now. you got to get me distracted again. <laughs> what do you got, Cobrizi, at the tight end position? My extra juicy dog at the tight end position. 
is a guy I picked up in our league. I picked him up. I don't know if you saw. He's the tight end 20 on a points per game basis this year coming off a bye. Green Bay Packer, Luke Musgrave, the rookie. Ooh, Jack would be excited. Jack, Jack, I know, is excited. Okay, I know he's jealous, too, that I got him because the Denver Broncos are dead last against tight ends. 32nd. 32nd against tight ends. That's a toss-up toss up game in Denver. 45 point over under. Luke Musgrave, five, six, seven catches, and his first career touchdown for a, my buddy, Mr. Tutty. Oh, Luke Musgrave. my goodness. Oh, first my. career touchdown. Max, you tried to get one with Zay Flowers the other week. You were you were one week early. One week early. <laughs> hoping hoping I can hoping I can get a first career Tutty guarantee for Luke Musgrave this week in Denver, Colorado. Nice. Good team to to do it against for sure.